Hi guys, Paul from BA Brew News. Going to do a beer here from Pennsylvania, PA Brew, from the Great Barn, I believe it's called, Brewing Company. Let's see, Great Barn Brewery Hazy Acres IPA. This is coming in at 8.2 alcohol by volume, so definitely an imperial or double IPA. But hell, I'm perfectly fine with uh, regular IPAs being 8.2. I think that's fantastic. I think most IPAs should be 8.2 in general. So that's good. Let's see, India Pale Ale brewed with oranges. Well, I like oranges, so that's awesome. Let's see, Pennsylvania farm grown and brewed. You see that? That that gets my dick hard. That's what I like seeing. The PA Pride right here, arm over a candle, bad placement. I should really probably change that location of said candle to about maybe here. <laughs> that would probably be a good idea. Okay, India independently craft brewed, PA preferred, again, right there. PA preferred. I don't know if you can see that with the check mark. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. This is PA Pride all over it. No, uh, we have an ABV, but we do not have a date on this can. And we're brewed and packaged by the Great Barn Brewery from Kintnersville, Pennsylvania. So Kintnersville. I have to go check out Kintnersville, Pennsylvania. Crack it open. We're going to do a left hand pour. All right, and it has a little bit of an orange hue with those oranges that uh, there's like a little bit of a caramel orange hue to this one. Of course, brewed with oranges, 8.2 alcohol by volume. Ow, my, I had a cramp in my thumb and it popped and it hurt. I'm like, oh my God, what happened? 8.2, that's awesome. So it's about right there. So you can see the Hazy Acres IPA from the Great Barn Brewing Company. All right, up to the light, Chunk City. I mean, Chunk Fish Food City. Lots of chunkies in this one. Huh, that's a shame. Just splat. Try to just shake it up, but lots of fish food in this. Lots of fish food. No, I'm not wearing these pants tonight, so it's good to show. All right, so here we go. Let's get a roll. Cheers. Little lots of orange, as a little orange rind as you can be expected. Caramel, earthiness. Not peppery earthiness. A little rind of an orange. That's about it. Not too crazy. Not too crazy. Not too crazy. So, a lot of chunks. Cheers. Got the rest in. <clears throat> More chunky just floating around. Lots of chunkies. Lots of lots. I mean, I even gave it a roll and everything. Lots of chunks. A little sizzly on the tongue. Roof the roof in the mouth. Really, really not a lot going on in this beer. Uh, like a hint of a soft caramel. Maybe a little even a little of breadiness. Just a little weird thing from all those chunks. Not really pulling too much. You could like a maybe maybe a little like old just muted orange. But I mean this is a boring beer. This is not a good beer. This does not taste like an 8% beer, I can tell you that. But this is not a really like a bombastic beer. This is not shouting anything. This is not doing anything. It's really, I don't know. It's just not really, it's not really that good. I mean, there is some, like, something that reminds me of, like, an orange rind or, like, muted orange, muted, muted something in there as well. I mean, that is in there. Don't get me wrong. But it's just so, meh. it's just there. It just is. It's one of those beers. It just exists. This beer just exists. It's not good. It's not bad. It just exists. It just is. It's dangerous how, how stupidly drinkable it is for 8.2. Yeah, it's not It was weird. It's just a slight 
fizzing sensation at the top of the palate from the, I don't know if it's, it doesn't look carbonated, very, very carbonated, but I think it's just those chunks that are in there a little bit too, just adding to something, I don't really know. Overall though, it's pretty thin. It's on the low side of a medium body, all, overall it's kind of watered down. It's not really oily, creamy or anything like that. Uh, it's murky, I wouldn't call it hazy, it's just murky. It's just murk. A lot of, lot of fish food chunks floating around in there. Not really any good sweetness, you know what I mean? Like nothing really, nothing's really doing anything in this beer. If there was like a bit of a sweetness, like a caramel sweetness to kick up and accent a little bit of that muted orange would be nice. Uh, it would kind of balance out a little bit of that fizzy kind of, that just happens, I don't know. There's not a lot to say about this beer. It's not very good. It's not a very good beer. <coughs> uh, it just isn't. Um, I'm gonna give it a six. I can give it a six. <coughs> Honestly, I can't, I can't, I have to be honest. It's not a very good beer. It's amazing it drinks so easy for 8.2% alcohol by volume. That's why I'm not giving it a five. But other than that, it's just blah. It's really blah. It, there's blah all over this beer. Unfortunately, I don't wanna be a dick. I think I've had some stuff from Great Bar Brewing Company that I really like, but this one is definitely not one of them. Uh, it's just blah. It really is. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't remember really liking their peanut butter dunkelweizen. It was one of the ones that they had, and I was like, yeah, I'm not into this. But uh, yeah, this one is just not my cup of tea. So we're gonna call this one a six out of ten, and it is what it is. It's been Paul Favorite News. Cheers. Bye. -bye.